Okay, part B. For each of, so, so for g prime of negative 3 and g double prime of negative 3, find the value or state that it does not exist. Uh, they have this because when you're finding a derivative, it is possible that you might be asked to find a derivative at a corner. Therefore, the derivative would not exist. Again, pay close attention to, they're asking for values of g prime and g double prime, g prime and g double prime, but we're looking at a graph of f. So I have to take my formula for g, and I need to find the derivative. So that's what I'm doing here. You don't have to show this work. I'm showing it to hopefully help with your understanding. So g prime must be the derivative of this because g is equal to this. So g prime is the derivative. This has to be x because I'm finding g prime of x of this. So using the rule on the golden notes, this comes out to be uh, f of x multiplied by the derivative of x minus f of 1 multiplied by the derivative of 1. This derivative would be 0, so all of this is 0. This is 1, so I discover that g prime is f. That's common, but I'd always follow the formula just in case there's a little bit of a trick to it. So no points for that, but I did find that g prime is f. So now I know that g prime of 3 g prime of 3, it's exactly the same thing as, sorry, negative 3, f of negative 3, this is f, here's negative 3, so I'm finding this y coordinate right there. So, let's see, this line goes from 1 to 3, that's going up to, so this slope right here, it's going up 2, it's going from negative 4 to negative 2, that's over 2, so that's a slope of 1. So that means if this y coordinate is 3, this, when I go this way 1, I'm going down 1 as well, so the y coordinate right there is 2. So on the graph of f, when the x coordinate is negative 3, the y coordinate is 2. And one point for that. G double prime of negative 3 means I've got to take the derivative of G prime. So that's easy. G double prime will equal F prime. So G double prime of negative 3 is the same thing as F prime of negative 3. That's on the graph of f. Go over here to negative 3. Find the slope right there. We already did. That slope is 1. Uh, one point for that. Two points total.